naked and dancing. Yes, and like living your life. It's like a rock musical that is all about the ending of Studio 54. And the good, the bad, the grimy, mm -hmm. and everything in between. It's a gay club, but it appealed to everybody and everyone was welcome there. You would see Donald Trump, and you would see Jimmy Carter's mother. Bianca Jagger you know, right here. The crown princes of Europe would go and snort cocaine and get low jobs and do whatever, but it changed overnight. We've been writing it, this show for about eight years. I, I don't think we could have imagined finding such amazing actors. Everybody really was on the same page from the beginning, and everybody was sort of saying yes and. Well, everyone's just embraced the style, I think, so much of this time, but making it on our bodies. We were doing sort of Studio 54 and the Mud Club and kind of what that meant. And those, those places, those rooms, and the music that was being played in them had a very specific color and sound. It really is about the people and the story that it's telling. And so that's why you like feel the ballads and you feel the drums and the band is yeah. Ridiculous. There's a lot of, you know, obviously there's some disco, there's also rock and roll, and, and it really kind of runs the, the gamut. Operatic, kaleidoscopic, psychedelic, funny, catchy, <laughs> rock and roll. It's literally like the culmination of every dream I've ever had happening. I just feel like it's a celebration of who you are and how you want to be in life. A celebration of the weirdos, of of the queer, artistic kind of family that you find moving to New York. And like, where all these interesting, broken, but hopeful people go when the lights come on. 